Hi, this is Alex Valdivia from the Threat Connect research team, and in this video I'm going to give a brief overview of MITRE's attack framework in Threat Connect. What we see on the screen now is a graph view in Threat Connect of the MITRE attack source, which contains all the data we have mapped from the attack framework. This includes a document that contains the sticks files used to generate every other object in the source, 418 annotated threat groups that represent each pre-attack and enterprise attack technique, and hundreds of tags that help label these groups according to their corresponding MITRE attack data model, tactic, and technique ID and name. For those of you new to attack, I encourage you to visit attack.mitre.org to learn more about their knowledge base and how to use it to enhance your security operations. Now to see a list of MITRE attack techniques in Threat Connect, hover on Browse, hover on Groups, and select Threat. Once you're in the Browse screen, make sure you have filtered out all owners except for the MITRE attack source in the My Threat Connect filter. I'm going to sort by summary to organize the browse results. And now we can see that I'm looking at a list of 418 threat groups, each representing a MITRE attack technique from the pre-attack or enterprise attack data set. I can click on these to see more information in the details drawer, or I can click on the details icon to go to the details page for an individual group or technique. Looking down the left side of the details page for the data obfuscation technique, I see a description and several attributes that contain data that has been mapped from MITRE's dataset. For example, if I'm looking for information about mitigation of this technique, which is shown here on MITRE's page for data obfuscation, I can find it in the course of action recommendation attribute in Threat Connect. For a list of these mappings, please see our knowledge base article on MITRE ATT&CK. Table 1 contains the Threat Connect attributes along with the ATT&CK sections. I highly recommend reading this entire article before getting started with MITRE and Threat Connect. Going back to the data obfuscation technique in Threat Connect, I see that this group has an association with three tags and one other Threat Connect group. First, let's talk about that group because for many users, it will be the very first step in using Attack and Threat Connect. This group is a document that is a zip file that contains two sticks formatted files provided by MITRE. That document is associated with every attack technique in the MITRE attack source in Threat Connect, which means I can copy it over to my org and bring along every group and tag associated with it. I want to make sure that I say yes to create tags that don't exist and make sure that I include associated threat groups. I can skip the security labels, screen with defaults, and hit save. And now this is copying all that information to my org. This is important because those tags need to exist in my org in order for them to autofill as I type them. I also want those technique groups in my org in case I want to associate them directly to my intelligence. Side note, for those of you using TC Open, not to worry, the full MITRE ATT&CK dataset described here will be available for your use in Common Community. Now let's talk about those tags because the best way to map your Threat Connect data with ATT&CK will be using tags. Every ATT&CK technique group in Threat Connect has at least three tags. One for the ATT&CK model, in this case Enterprise ATT&CK, one for each tactic the technique belongs to, command and control here, and one or more full technique data tags, which contain the technique ID, the technique name, a three-character abbreviation for the corresponding tactic, a three-character abbreviation for the attack model, and the string attack. Now this may seem like a lot of information packed into a single tag, and it is, but that's a good thing because I can now annotate intelligence very precisely with a single tag, and I can also create very flexible filters for dashboards using Threat Connect query language, or TQL. For example, if I go to the browse screen and browse for threats, I can filter based on that T1001 technique ID, hit apply. If I click on advanced, I'm shown a view with a TQL query that I can use to make this more flexible. For example, 
instead of this exact tag, I can specify that I want the tag to be like insert a wildcard percentage sign and another one at the end. Now I'm querying for all threats that have a tag with the CNC abbreviation. So basically all techniques that belong to the command and control tactic. Now let's look at an example of labeling intelligence and threat connect with attack data. Let's say I have an incident here that I know is associated to an attack technique or techniques. If we scroll down here, we'll see that the authors of this blog included information about a persistence technique, T1053. Now, because I have copied those techniques over to my org from the MITRE attack source, I can now simply start typing the technique ID and ThreatConnect will autofill the tag and I can select the best suggestion. This is an important example because it is an enterprise technique that belongs to multiple tactics. In this case, we know that the technique was observed as part of the persistence tactic, but in the cases when we don't know that tactic, we can select the NDT version or not determined. Um, there's a table of all these abbreviations also included in the knowledge base article that I mentioned earlier, so please see that article for a full list of the abbreviations. In this case, I'm going to select persistence. And now we have that tag added to the tag set. And if I look at my graph view, I can see that T1053 is one of the tags associated to this incident, and I can pivot from here to other groups associated to that particular attack technique. And so simply by labeling this incident with a tag, I am now able to see associations to other intelligence that are also associated to that attack technique tag. Well, I hope this was a helpful overview, and I encourage you to log into ThreatConnect and explore the new attack dataset, and let us know what you think.